Hi guys, Rich from Whitewash here. So today we're going to be doing a unboxing of a Forge World Land Raider Proteus. Now it's a fantastic kit and uh, gives uh, a squadron of Land Raiders outflank and scout and stuff uh, with reduced capacity for the uh, for the guys inside. So without much ado, let's get inside it. So it comes in a standard Forge World white box. Usual warnings, this is not a toy. And inside the box, we have uh, the kit itself. So this kit, this kit comes in two bags, and the hull pieces, them, uh, track pieces itself. So we've got the usual uh, working with Forge World resin, recommended Games Workshop products to, to build it. <clears throat> and we've got the, the instruction manual or instruction page. This is an older kit so uh, the tracks are all separate. Bit of a pain in the ass to build, getting them all to line up but they did fix the the Spartan chassis so the tracks are attached but unfortunately this hasn't made the uh, made that redesign yet so there's 52 pieces of resin to build this kit uh, it is a straightforward kit I've built one before for myself and uh, yeah they are nice they are very nice but anyway we'll get inside the, the kits and uh, Right, so you've got your two track sections, massive resin gate that you'll need to uh, saw off. Doesn't look like there's any mould slips, which is quite good considering how old this uh, this one is. A wee tip for cutting off the big gates. See when you heat up your resin to to straighten to straighten the uh, the parts, heat it up, and then when you cut through it, it should give a little bit more easier and be less of a uh, a shock when cutting, and uh, the shocks will cause fractures in your in your resin. So a wee bit of heat, hair dry for thirty seconds just before you start sawing away, and it should come off a little bit more easier than. Uh, just trying to saw through it when it's cold. So you've got two of those bits. A little bit of mold slip along the uh, underneath of the track. The uh, the running wheels, but all in all, still a good kit. So the two bags contain the rest of the parts for it. That's your whole sections. Nice and crisp. There's not much warpage on these at all actually. Which is uh which is always good, although without a doubt I'll have to heat them up a little bit just to make the uh the joints. You got your uh exhaust engine blocks. A little bit of mould slip on there. A little bit of mould slip along the, uh, the edge of the engine tubing. But uh, we can sort that out easy enough. Then you've got your, your sponson gear. So this is all your, uh, your parts for your, for your sponsons. Your targeters and your cabling. So there's two of them. Again, a little blemish in the in the resin on the targeting block. And you got your your back of your uh, your mainframe. This is where uh, all your engine parts fit onto. 
and you've got your cupola. Your sponsor gun shield and another one there. Then you've got your your gun shield for the actual frame itself for the chassis. A little bit of warpage. We uh, ten seconds with a hairdryer sort of that out. And you've got your front track assembly. And you've got the two parts of your uh, your tracks. I believe these might be the front or rear curved sections. Something. Not quite sure what parts, are, parts these are. Give me two seconds. And they are your torsion bars. A little bit of flash, a little bit of prep needing done on them just to smoothen them out. Got your engine blocks themselves and your, sorry, your exhausts and your Aquila. Then in your second bag, <clears throat> you got your dozer blade, yeah you don't want to get immobilised, especially turn one, then you got all of your track sections. Yeah, some of these are quite bad. So inside there, don't know if you can see it or not. You've got a leak during the mould. Hopefully that should be hid away. But we'll try and take out what we can before we uh, build. And the same on that one. Now it's got the uh, the blue foam, which I believe is from the the casting mould itself. So unfortunately, the next kit that gets made from that mould will have excess resin where that greeny blue material is. There's your engine block. It's quite a heavy tank in all honesty, a lot of resin to it. And you got your your multi melter. More parts of the sponson. Again, we've got some more of the mould in there. And more of the sponson. Really easy to magnetise these. Uh, what I do is this bit is stuck down, this bit is magnetised, and then the sponson itself, this bit here, gets a magnet inside there, and then uh, that makes it magnetised, fully magnetised, so you can remove it and swap out your sponsons if you've got multiple sponsons and stuff. <coughs> and you've got your heavy bolton. Even more track. And you've got your front section, your big block at the front. And you've got your twin link last cannons for your sponsons. And then you've got your two Land Raider sized doors. No, it's a fantastic kit. I've got one myself in my collection. Uh, this is for a Iron, Iron Hands project. Now there's already one in his collection, so it's, uh, it's building up a squadron. 
Uh, I believe it's going to run it with his uh, Land Raider Achilles to complete that squadron and uh, ruin people's days by outflanking them. <coughs> but yeah, for a uh, just shy of a hundred quid kit. Excuse me, I'll just tell you the exact price. So yeah, it's in total a hundred quid and. Uh, £83.33 and then you've got 1667 VAT so bang on 100 quid uh, it only took literally a day for it to arrive so I'm quite impressed with uh, Forge Wells handling time on that one uh, sometimes it does take a little while to get it through and then other times it just takes a day but that is the Land Raider Proteus like, subscribe, leave a comment and we'll get back to you this is going to be flung into the uh, into the wash bucket just now, and uh, I'll get this uh, built up for the client and get it painted and returned to him. But anyway, guys, as I said, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and we'll get back to you. Until next time, guys, take it easy. Thanks, boys. Bye.